Well, good morning, fight fans. Just finished watching uh, uh, Marauder against uh, uh, Blandon Murrah. Uh, 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern time, the fight came on. No, I didn't wa get up at 7 to watch it. I, it's a little after 11 is when I decided to watch it. Uh, it was good to get to see Marauder, uh, excuse me, uh, Marauder uh, fight. Uh, Generally, when uh, fights come on to Japan over here, that's about what time you're going to get them, uh, you know, six, seven in the morning, somewhere generally in, in that area. But um, let's talk about uh, what happened in the fight. He wins the fight by eighth round TKO with a brutal uh, overhand right that uh, put Bland, uh, uh, Blandon Mirror down on his knees. And when he did get up, I think at eight, I thought the ref made a wise decision by stopping the fight. It was no reason for that fight to go on. He was just basically a walking punching bag. And he was all the, all he really brought to the ring was uh toughness. Uh and all he was gonna do was get uh beat up on, you know, going into round uh nine because it was right at the end of the eighth round. Sometimes you just have to save a fighter from himself and the referee is exactly what he did there. Save the guy from himself. Now let me talk about the pros and the cons for Murata. Number uh, number one is uh, he is in his prime at 32. Uh, he is a vicious body puncher, which I love. I'm, I've always been a fan of body punchers. He not only was throwing a left hook to the body, but he was throwing right hands to the body, which is I, which is what I think took the gas out of Blandon Murrah's uh, gas tank in the end. And it caused the knockdown. Now, the commentators I was listening to were uh, saying that the Japanese public aren't happy with Murata because basically he's not like NUA and he's not like getting these guys out of there. I have to disagree. I think that he's a pretty solid fighter. I think that going to the body um, uh, takes the gas out of the tank. And not, and not only does it do that, but it also uh, opens the uh, knockout later. Uh now, the, the cons I would say about Murata is uh, he still doesn't cut off the ring uh, uh, that well. And he and his hands are kind of slow to me. And, in, in, you know, uh, uh, you know, in a way he doesn't really have like quick hands. That's going to give a lot of uh, higher ranked guys problems, even though I think that he's a he's an upper class in the middleweights. So I just think that he may have trouble with some of the faster guys, which brings me to what should happen next with him. I know that he's the WBA champion, but uh, I don't think he's ready for the top tier guys, which even though I know he's 32, he doesn't have a whole lot more time to be ready for him. But by the upper uh, tier guys in the middleweight division, I'm talking Alvarez, Golovkin, Charlo, Daniel Jacobs, Billy Joe Saunders, uh, and probably not even Dervinchenko. You know, I don't know if he's uh, really ready for those guys yet. Uh, but what I do think he's ready for which I think will be a fight he can get in a few months because he didn't take any damage in this fight if you saw it. I think a couple of guys that would be good tests for him would be uh, like uh, David Lemieux, Martin Murray, or even Willie Monroe. Uh, Willie Monroe, you have a guy who can uh, stick and move. With Martin Murray, you have a veteran who could give him some rounds in there. And with David Lemieux, you have another power puncher. Let's see what he does against another guy who uh, can throw, you know, throw bombs and hit hard the way he does. But uh, that's pretty much it, fight fans. I did enjoy uh, the fight for what it was. Like I said, to be honest, Blandon Mirror was really uh, nothing but a glorified punching bag in there. But uh, Murata, uh, it was good to see him. Like I said, we don't always get to see, you know, guys who fight overseas that often because they're usually fighting at uh, weird times. Uh, this time it happened to be on a Sunday morning. Uh and uh, or, or but usually it's on like a Tuesday or Wednesday morning that, the, that these guys fight. Like I said, odd times for us over here in the States. All right. I'm going to cut it right there. That's all I got. It was a, a good victory for him. Eighth round TKO. That's all for now. Catch y'all later.